my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole. We're doing another empties video today. You guys seem to enjoy these and I have got a lot of empties. So let's do it. Let's do it the standard way where we go through everything quickly. So this is my cleanser and toner category. Finally finished off my giant tub of the vanilla clean at zero. It works great. It gets the job done at removing makeup. I tend to like my uh, more expensive scented versions just because cleansing is a part of my routine where I seem to be able to get away with using scented products. Uh, so I don't, I'm not going to repurchase it now, but it's absolutely one I would recommend, especially if you do like uh, unscented, you know, just straightforward, simple, and affordable. Uh, as far as cleansers, finally finished off another Neutrogena Hydro Boost, but I have to give credit here to Aro because this is one of her favorite cleansers. She just likes drugstore products. It's the funniest thing to me. You know, I'll get an expensive product in the mail and I'm like, ooh, try this. This is this is a $200 product. And she's like, no thanks. I don't want to like something that's $200. <laughs> but I guess I get it because that's how I feel with her electronic stuff. And wow, she buys expensive electronic stuff that I just, I don't even know what it does. I just, I, I was one of the last ones in my friend group to, uh, leave the flip phones behind. Anyone? Anyone else? Any, I just didn't see the need for a smartphone. Oh no, I'm going off. Anyway, it is a fine cleanser. Nothing wrong with it. You don't have to spend a lot on cleansers. The Vitamin C Beauty Seaweed Rosehip Oil. If you guys are the type to watch all my videos, this is in fact the hand soap from Thanksgiving. Look at it though. It kind of looks like a hand soap. In all fairness, I did like this. I didn't love it to the level of some of my other cleansers. So yeah, that's that's how we went through that pretty quickly in comparison. It takes me a long time to go through cleansers because I only use them once a day and use micellar water in the morning. Uh, I wanted to add this glycolic foaming cleanser. I didn't like this, but I finished off this sample by using it on my back. I said in another video, uh, my Dr. Dennis Gross video, that I had been dealing with back knee. This was such a great solution. You know, if a product's not working on your face or you just don't like it on your face, use it on your body. I left this on my back for like five, five-ish minutes, washed it off. It's a, it's a good treatment. I wouldn't do that to my face though, you know, but the skin on my back is a lot more tough. Ole Henriksen Glow 2 Dark Spot Toner. I do like this. It is fragranced though. Pro probably won't repurchase it, but I do like it. Uh, kind of same with this uh, Caudalie Vino Pure Clear Skin Purifying Toner. This was in that kit that I got uh, around the holidays. It's fine, but it's kind of strong. I just don't think it needs to be that strong. The Herbivore Rose Coconut Water, I actually added the Elemis to this container before I finished both of these off. Uh, definitely the way to go. I really do like spray bottles. Maybe I should, no, I don't think I, yeah, maybe I should clean this and keep it. But then again, I can recycle glass. I'll recycle it and keep another mister. If you have liquid toners and you're just not loving them, try transferring them over to a spray bottle. I'm telling you, it's just so much easier. Don't do that if it is a uh, AHA toner though, just your basic toner. Next up is serums. So I'm trying to get through some of these products that I've had sitting in my refrigerator for just so long because I did so many trials. I'm taking it a little more easy now, so I've been pulling some of these out of my fridge and finishing them. Finally finished off my Drunk Elephant TLC Framboos. Absolutely love this. Oh, I love this. If my skin starts getting bad again, yes, I would repurchase this. Uh, the Amore Pacific Youth Revolution Radiance Concentrator. This is a very nice product, but it is very, very pricey. So the Uli Henriksen True Serum, this is one I had in my fridge for a while. This is a great pro- it's not a great product, it's a good product. Uh, but there's better sodium ascorbyl phosphate serums on the market with a lot less fragrance. So I finished it off, but yeah, I won't repurchase that. I used the Good Molecules Overnight Exfoliating Treatment on my feet because I really I couldn't use it on my face. I absolutely couldn't use it. Yeah, this was gifted to me as well. Uh, but yeah, this was a terrible on my face. I had reactions, and it's a shame because it's just simply because they added essential oil ingredients to it. The Black Snail Restore Serum. This is absolutely incredible. I'm on my second bottle of this. This one was gifted by the company Creditthink. The Ordinary Salicylic Acid 2% Solution. How I miss you already. I'm using the uh, Inky List BHA now. Uh, you know what? It's, it's fine. It's just as good. All you need is salicylic at 2%. So... 
I don't use these on their own because I want more for my skincare routine, but yeah, if I'm fighting blemishes, I'll always add in salicylic acid in my AM routine. Let's do this this way so I don't forget. This was gifted by the brand and the Good Molecules was gifted by the brand. Okay, so moisturizers first. The Dr. Babor Calming RX Soothing Cream Rich. Oh, I was so sad the day I realized I was out of this. I absolutely love this. It is pricey. It is completely fragrance free. Nothing that I worry about at all. It's just soothing and great for sensitive skin. Has colloidal silver in it. Oh man, this is such a good product. Uh, the J1 Black Jelly Pack, I don't think they, I think this company went out of business because I can't find them anymore. Uh, but this was really hyped for a while, and I, first off, I think this one is the one for oily skin, but also I just don't really see the hype. Uh, yeah, it didn't really do it for me. I guess they went out of business, so can't get it again, but wouldn't anyway. The Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Sleeping Mask, I do like this. I really do like this. I don't think it is necessarily a, I don't think it is a game changing product. I would recommend you get your retinol in a serum and just use a sleeping mask over that, but it was really enjoyable to use. Glow Recipe has got down textures and experiences. They have, that's, that's the hype. That's what it is. Uh, as far as these oils, I don't use this as an oil, the tea tree oil. I use this when I'm having blemishes, the tiniest amount, one drop, that's it. Uh, you don't ever treat this like an oil. You don't want to go overboard with this. This probably lasted me for a year and a half, two years maybe, something like that. A little goes a long way, as it should. Not everybody can use this. This is an essential oil, but if it works for you, then it works for you. And then the regular oils here, so I really do like the Good Molecules Rose uh, rose Hip Seed Oil. This is sustainably sourced. Absolutely love this direction. The Herbivore Emerald, this was really nice too. 100 milligrams of CBD. Yeah, I really liked using this. It is pricey, but it was the results. The results were incredible. And then this is one that I pulled from my fridge and was like, we need to finish this. This is a nice uh, oil oil blend from Physician's Formula. Gets the job done. I don't really love the packaging though. I have just a couple of eye and lip products I'll talk about real quickly. So these were gifted. The Dr. Lily Fan Probiotic Eye Repair Cream. Really nice eye cream, really great ingredients. The Globiotics Probiotics Eye Cream, wait. <clears throat> Globiotics Anti-Wrinkle Illuminating Eye Cream. Oh, this brand is great. The Primera Clean Berry Lip Mask, I liked this a lot, a lot. If I hadn't just stocked up on Kopari Balm, I might consider buying this. But again, I'm not low on lip masks. Uh, but yeah, this was really nice. I know a lot of people are heartbroken about Bite's reformulation. I wouldn't say it's got that heaviness to it that Bite has, but it's very effective. It's very comfortable on the lips. Your lips really do feel much better in the morning. And then the Sugar Advanced Therapy from Fresh. I'm going to throw you guys for a loop here. So I don't love the Bite, the old Bite lip balm because I felt it was too heavy. But I love this because it is a heavier daytime lipstick. I can't explain myself. I just, this is one of my absolute favorite daytime lip balms. Round one of mask type of products, I guess. So I finally finished my Exuviance Performance Peel AP. I know this this took me actually a very long time, but I have a lot of AHA containing products and I'm careful with them. I genuinely think that way too many people overdo AHAs. I use them about two to three times a week and that's it. So, you know, if for example, I used this one night, then I'm not gonna use this for a couple days. I'll have to wait a couple days, then I'll use this, and then go back to this. Hopefully that makes sense. Be careful with AHAs. You know, they're incredible on the skin, but they can be too much. Uh, I, I probably won't repurchase this just because this is my favorite. And I finished up a three treatment pack during the, uh, the time I was doing my Dr. Dennis Gross trial. I felt like, okay, well, I'm doing Dr. Dennis Gross. I might as well use these. I love these absolute favorites. The Dr. Babor Stop Stress, these were gifted to me by the brand. I didn't like these as much as the Perfect Glow. Those are the ones that I repurchased. These, yeah, I probably won't, 
But they, they were fine. They were fine. And then the Kiehl's Calendula and Aloe Mask. <laughs> so I just, it's ridiculous how long it took me to finish a sample size of this. But I didn't love it. And I wanted to pay attention to it every time I used it. I was like, maybe, maybe I'm just observing this incorrectly or something. But yeah, it just, it's just not my favorite. I feel like there are so many other hydrating masks that deliver so much more hydration. Next section of this video is sheet masks. I apologize in advance for my hand. I got my package from Sephora today. I ordered a diffuser and I, I, I failed to think about the fact that the carbon reads might transfer to my hands and I can't get this off. So now my hands are stained with carbon and I already have that uh, graphite in my hand. My poor hands are such a mess. Anyway, let's talk about these sheet masks. Uh, so these were gifted and these were gifted. Let's get these guys out of the way. So you guys know I love my Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. I think I use, I actually, I think I'm terrible at saving sheet masks because this is so gross to hold on to. I have to keep them in this Sephora bag and look at the bottom of that. It just gets, ill. it gets so gross. Uh, I also used the Fla Flash Patch Restoring Night Eye Gels from Patchology. I don't like these quite as much as Skin Iceland, but they're all right. What I don't like is this hydrating lip gel. I feel so goofy every time I use this. It, it, I just, I look goofy. I don't see results, so I feel goofy for having used it. It's just, I, does this work for anybody? Does anybody like this? Because if so, please comment. Please comment your experience. What am I doing wrong? I don't know. Uh, so I finished off another masquerade. I think this is the last one I have from them. I liked it. I still think they're uh highlight product is those mini sheet masks because those are so good for dry patches this stuff right here this came from the yes style mask monday set so this was the problematic skin one and i i was proactive about this when we went on vacation i took the problematic sheet masks <laughs> problematic sheet masks <laughs> hold on i gotta laugh the Problem Skin Sheet Masks, and I really liked them. I really did. All of these were great. I stayed relatively free of blemishes, which is a miracle for me when traveling. Uh, so this was the Ice and Tree Spot Saver. It's so funny to me, this this brand name. So many people think it's a knockoff of Innisfree. It's its, its own brand. <laughs> the Clavu Green Pearl Station Tea Tree Care Mask. Tea Tree works for me, so I loved that. Uh, the Mizan Joyful Time Essence Mask. And then, who's this? Oh, a pew. Uh, Cesative Zinc Sheet Mask. This one was, actually, this one was really nice. But we're going to talk more about Cesa in a moment, so let me not get too, too much ahead of myself. I got the Peach and Lily Original Glow Sheet Mask. This, well, they, they were doing some kind of a promo with this. Did any of you guys do it? Uh, where you followed them on Instagram and then filled out a form and they would send this out. I think it's fine, but honestly, I don't think I'd repurchase it. It's honestly one of those products where I feel like there's kind of too much going on in this. Uh, especially for a sheet mask. I don't like AHA in sheet masks, personally. So all of these were sent to me by VT, and the idea with these masks is they're all CISA based CISA is a really good ingredient for sensitive skin, uh, inflamed skin, irritated skin. So they sent me four different boxes, and you can probably see my favorite here. Now, some things you need to know about these. First off, these are larger. That might be a big uh, pro for some of you if some sheet masks are too small. These were a little too large for my face, so I had to be careful to not get them into my hair. Uh, but in addition to that, these are almost an ounce of serum in every one of these. So I got two uses out of every single one of these masks, and the way that I do that is I carefully fold the mask and put it back inside, immediately put it in my fridge and use it within 24 hours. Because the problem is you don't want to cultivate bacteria, so you don't want to leave it sitting in there for months and months and then revisit it. But you have to think, you know, how long does it take for bacteria to multiply, especially in the fridge. So it works for me. I'm not saying that's going to work for everybody, but that is how I get two uses, two to three uses out of all of my sheet masks. Uh, so again, my favorite was the Pro Cisa Mask. This one is soothing, moisturizing, nutrition, and hydrating. I just felt like this targeted everything that I wanted it to. Very, very calming and hydrating on my skin. Uh, they also sent the Cisa Moisture Mask and the Cisa Nutrition Mask. I liked both of them. I just preferred the Pro Cisa Mask personally. And then this one, I, I think this is one that I need to take traveling. Let me show you the box for this one. So this came in this 
uh, the CESA three-step mask. Step one is the PHA toner. You get the sheet mask and then the deep sleeping mask. I think that, honestly, I think I just in a non-traveling capacity, would rather use, open my, you know, bottles in the bathroom. I felt like I was fiddling with Sephora-sized foil samples. But again, I can see this really having a place for travel. I just haven't traveled since I got this. So, yeah, I'm gonna set this box aside and not, not try to force myself at home. <laughs> I don't normally do a lot of body products, but I wanted to say I did finish off a Sol de Janeiro? Janeiro? Brazilian Boom Boom Cream, and I'm gonna repurchase it because I love this. Ugh, I fell for it so hard. I tried so hard to resist, but it just smells and feels so good. And then this one, the Start Happy Body Wash from Plant Apothecary, that was PR, and I promised to update on it, and then I never did. I guess because I don't talk that much about body products. It's Nice, and I'm happy that it's now carried at Ulta, because if Ulta ever does a 5x promo or 50% off, or you know, one of the Ulta deals, I could see myself repurchasing it, but not for full price, just because of how quickly I went through this. It does contain a lot of essential oils, so it's not going to be for everybody, but for me personally, essential oils are fine in body products, uh, and especially in a body wash. So yeah, I actually really liked using it. Just, I, I went through it in a matter of weeks. I want to close out this video by talking about supplements. I know that some people are like, wait, supplements? This is a skincare video. Uh, but for me, personally, supplements are very important to skincare. In particular, this one right here. I put this in an, uh, the ranking acne treatments video I did a while ago as my number one. And I'm so serious about that. To this day, I still believe that this has been the biggest skincare uh, game changer for me out of everything I've ever tried. And yes, it's a supplement. Uh, so what I wanted to do is show you guys, I believe this is about, yeah, this is three months worth of supplements. So the Hush and Hush, these were gifted to me by the brand. Uh, the Deeply Rooted is the hair supplement and Time Capsule is kind of just a, it's a, it's a supplement basically. There's a lot of crossover in the ingredients lists on these, so what I did is I took Deeply Rooted for a month, I switched to Time Capsule, and then I switched back to Deeply Rooted. I just don't feel like you need to take both of these together. And uh, because there's so much in those supplements, I just did not need to take very many other supplements. I do have other supplements. The only one that I take every single day is my calcium because my doctor told me to take calcium every single day. And then of course my Skin Heroes. This one was originally like a year ago gifted to me by Hum and I've just continued to repurchase it and continue to repurchase it. I'll give you a tip though. I now only take one of these a day so this is a two month supply for me which is fantastic. You know I feel like I needed that initial two per day but now we're down to one a day as maintenance. It's incredible. It's such an incredible supplement. Are you picking up on this? Um, I also do, I, I, I was taking one of these a day. These are hyaluronic supplements from HUM. I kind of reduced my frequency of these because these contain hyaluronic acid, but I figured, well, hyaluronic acid can't hurt, so I'll just continue to take these, as well as collagen. So with collagen, this was gifted to me by HUM, and I honestly do feel kind of disappointed. Not in the product as much. I guess if you're buying this as a healthy drink, that's fine. But in terms of the research, you know, this is so well researched. The You look up any of these ingredients, you'll pull up studies on those probiotics against acne. But with this, it doesn't really align with the research. You've got 500 milligrams of collagen in here. And every single collagen study I was finding starts at one gram. So after reading several collagen studies, I decided to buy this. This has uh, uh, 10, 10 grams of collagen in it, and it's kind of delicious. I just talked about this in my Ulta video, so I won't go off too much today. But basically, collagen is tricky. I... I don't want to I don't want to recommend it or not recommend it. I want you to make your decision. I've decided to continue taking it for now because I like the direction of the research, but I, I don't take it and think, oh, this is going to smooth any fine lines on my forehead, right? I'm just like, okay, it's collagen. I, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. 
And then eight greens. I'm so glad I bought more eight greens. So if you are the kind of person who enjoys green drinks, that's what I love about this. I don't really view this as a supplement. I don't take this every single day. I just take this when I'm in the mood for a healthy green drink and it delivers that for me and it's so delicious. Yes, I can finally get all of this out of my house. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.